All right, everyone, Shane, the building biologist, back with you. And wanted to point out a neighborhood hazard that you might have seen before. Uh, we're actually out here today in Forest Grove, Oregon, looking at a potential home for a client. And this is out in the front yard, not too far from the house at all, maybe 10 feet. This is called the pad mount transformer. And the power from the utility comes in here at a higher voltage <clears throat> and then is stepped down to a safer, more usable level for the house. And this can serve multiple houses. Uh, right now there's nothing next door. Uh, but at any rate, this is a common form of power delivery. And you'll see this when there aren't overhead power lines with the little gray silver canister that we're all accustomed to. So a couple of issues that can arise with this, first of all, power is going to come into this underground right and you might think that's safer but it actually can be a concern so you're going to want to have a good meter to test around this area where the lines might flow into it and then you're also going to want to test if your home is close to this say within 10 15 feet just how strong the fields are coming off of it and so we're going to use this gauss meter take some reeds and just how strong this thing is. So right here, just a foot or two away, we're about one and a half, 1.8 milligauss. And for areas of extended use, we'd like that to be actually 0 0.2. And pushing one milligauss is kind of on the high end of a slight concern level. So we'd like it to be closer to 0 0.2. So we're over one at this point, And we're kind of concerned now so we need to walk it back and see how far this field goes. So now we're right up against the house and about 0.7. So let's go inside and we're gonna see how far it reaches into this room in the house that's closest to it. Bear with me as we walk in here. Okay. Point four, point five, point six, and there's our friend out there. So this can really help you decide <clears throat> how much of the home is in a strong field from a pad mount transformer. In this case, it's just kind of a corner of this room. So that's good news. And then this will also inform you as to use of the actual room. So we wouldn't want to put a bed or a desk or anything along this wall. We would probably want those things to actually be over on this opposite wall. We were down very close to that lower end of 0.2. So that's kind of how I look at pad mount transformers <clears throat> and uh, just wanted to give you a little awareness around that. Give us a subscribe, <clears throat> and if you have questions or comments, feel free to leave those below and I'll get back to you. Thanks.